What's good, you too? <clears throat> this your man, Spio Dog. Yo, we got some good fights coming up. You know, but uh, we got to start ripping these guys and dogging them when they take big fights and lose, man. We want to keep getting them, man. Uh, I think that's what's stopping a lot of these guys from getting in the ring with people that might that might get them some real competition. You know, uh, it's a lot of these dudes, man. I mean, you know, uh, just like Mikey from the fighter or Spence. If Mikey lose, man, motherfuckers don't need to dog Mikey for that, man. He took a chance. You got, uh, you got, uh, Amir Khan fighting Terrence Crawford. If Terrence Crawford lose, he don't need to get dogged. He took a, he taking a tough fight. Khan either, uh, Canelo versus Danny Jacobs. Win, lose, or draw. Danny Jacobs nor Canelo need to be dogged for this. See, because when we do that shit, that don't get these guys no incentive to get in the ring and take these chances if they're going to lose all their fans and get disrespected in the media for the next four to six months, however how long it takes them to have another big fight. You know, that's it, 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 we, we are our own worst enemy when it comes to, uh, come to getting these big fights. You got to think, man, just, you know, just like, say, for instance, Adrian Broner. I'm not a big Adrian Broner fan, but I'm not a, not, I don't dislike his boxing. I don't like that other stuff, but uh, I stick to the stuff in the ring. You, you know, that that fight with Madonna took a lot out of that boy. Now, he asked for it. Now, he one of the guys that kind of asked for what he get. But at the same time, he still getting in the ring. He fought, he done fought his last three fights, been against Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas, and, um, and Manny Pacquiao. Hey, that's giving us good fights regards to what he is and ain't doing that we think he can and can't do. You know, uh, it's real easy. Just like if if Spence go in there and, and, and kind of blow through Mikey, like when Kel Rook fought Triple G and got his eye socket uh, busted. You know, uh, for us to get these big fights, dogs, people got to take chances. And when they take these big chances, if they don't win, man, we got to respect that. You know, one thing you got to understand, any guy that's fighting A-level competition, do you know what it took for him to get where he at? Just imagine every, uh, the ones of y'all that, that got jobs, that work and shit out here that's, that's watching these fights and stuff. You know, uh, how have you ever have you ever worked all year and thought you was doing a good job when time for the raises and promotions come out? They come with some shit and feel and you feel disrespected. Or just just imagine, just imagine when you think you're doing doing a good job at work, then the boss coming there talking shit to you. You know, uh, that don't give you no incentive to come back in there and work no harder. You know, or if you have a bad day at work, the whole world don't get to see you. You know, man, and you know, just just imagine doing, you know, to be, you got 15, 20 thousand people at the fight. Sometimes you got another. Maybe a couple of million watching. You a motherfucker who got friends, got 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 a wife, got kids. You got you know and uh, you got to get in the ring and perform in front of all these people and do a good job. You got damn it, and uh, that's a lot of pressure. Some of these guys is twenty in their early twenties, but I got two sons, man. I got a son, twenty one, another one, uh, twenty nine. You know, uh, my sons boxed, they played basketball, they played football, they was good athletes. And, and, and me being a father, I used to be a coach. I know how it feel for these kids to do they, to, to work hard, try their best. And I know how they feel when they come up short. Y'all don't understand that part. That's why I can understand how Barry Hunter and uh, Kenny Porter and, uh, and, and and Freddie Roach to some of these guys that been in the amateur programs and, and been with these guys since they was kids. They got, that, you know, uh, they understand what I understand. That they, you know that uh, it's tough on these kids when they, you know, they trying their best. You know, the average motherfucker that fight in the street, any, any you cats that really been out there, when I was out there, I was out there. If you been out there bumping and grinding and thumping, the average motherfucker that get a fight, Fights is a spontaneous thing. It's it's somewhere you want somebody sitting there and, and shit go wrong, and, and, and you either checking them or they trying to check you. It's very rarely that you walking around every day knowing me and this nigga gonna get into it, uh, this cat gonna get into. Excuse my language. You know, uh, you know, it's very rare 
that you know that. Now just imagine for these for these for these for these fighters. You got another guy that's usually about the same size as you. Same, you know, y'all y'all pretty much even in a lot of things. And then he got he got two months, two, three months to get ready to fight you. You know, uh if if, if if we was if we was fighting under them circumstances, we might not look as good as we as as usual either. I mean, a guy got two three months that know how that been that's been training just like you that know how to fight, man. You know, uh, hey, you feel me? You know, uh, you know. Sometimes think about it before you just come out your out your mouth, just being blatantly disrespectful to these guys, man. I mean, you know, it take a lot to get in that ring. And fight for all these people and do your best. And, and somebody got to lose. And when you come up short, after you done tried the best you can, got to hear all this bullshit out of people who you know can't do what you do. So when, so when we're going to start complaining about these guys, punks, these guys, soft, no, sometimes these guys just feel like we fickle fans and they don't want to go in here and give us what we want, then get dogged if things don't work out right. So if we want to keep getting good fights, it's okay to, to be upset about a guy losing. It's okay to say a little something. But just dogging people out and calling them bums and scrubs. Anybody who get, if you fight in championship fights, and, 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 and millions of people watching you, you ain't no bum and you ain't no scrub. You know, uh, and I think these guys de de deserve a little, more, a little bit more respect than what they've been getting, win or lose, especially when they stepping up fighting big fights. Like I say, this this challenge Mikey Garcia taking, no, he shouldn't get dogged if he loses. The fight that uh, Canelo taking against Danny Jacobs, no, he shouldn't get dogged if he loses. Uh, the fight that Terrence Crawford taking with Amir Khan, I, people can feel like they want to feel about Amir Khan, but Amir Khan only lost because Amir Khan take chances and fight big fights. Whoever win, whoever lose, they shouldn't get ripped. It's all right to discuss what went on in the fight, but to sit up here and call, oh, you sorry, motherfucker, you ain't shit and all that. Nah, man. Dude, did, you know, sometimes somebody got to win and somebody got to lose, you know. And uh, if we want to keep seeing good fights, we don't have to be careful how we talk about these guys when they take chances and sometimes come up short. It's only one Floyd Mayweather, there's only one Andre Ward, it ain't going to be a bunch of, and one Deontay Wilder, it ain't going to be a bunch of dudes like that. Ain't gonna be a bunch of dudes like that. So enjoy the ones that you see like that. But for a top fighter, have four or five losses or whatever, however many you get. Fernando Vargas, him having a couple of losses don't make him no no less great. Muhammad Ali got losses. Vander Holyfield got losses. Roy Jones Jr. got losses. Della Hoya got losses. Uh, Sugar Sugar Shane, you know, uh, Bernard Hopkins. It's a lot of great fighters. They got three, four losses on their record, man. It, 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 I mean, it's not the end of the world. That don't that don't diminish you. And, and we gotta get out of this Floyd Mayweather era mindset that just because you lose one or two or three fights that you ain't still who you was. You still that guy. Just cause you lost a couple fights, you still that guy. Especially when you fighting a a level fighters and losing. So that's all on this one, you know, I just feel like I need to put that out there, you know, like the video, hit like, subscribe to the next one, it's your boy Spiel, I'm out.